We next have Alejandra Ancheta, who is the founder and executive director of ProDesk. Alejandra, welcome. Thank you so much. And um, good evening to all. Um, first, I would like to thank the UN Forum on Business and Human Rights for the opportunity to speak in this event and the opportunity to recognize Professor John Robbins' exceptional inputs from the field on human rights. Uh, my name is Alejandra Ancheta, and I am Executive Director at ProDesk, a Mexican organization that defends economic, social, and cultural rights. In all of the cases, ProDesk defends communities and workers from excesses committed by transnational corporations and that translate to violations of their human rights. Professor Rogi, I have to say, was a pioneer in addressing how corporations can do harm in a globalized eco economy. To do this, he proposed an interesting framework in which the status must protect, companies must respect, and those harmed must have remedy. Now, 10 years, 10 years after the UN guiding principles were published, we are seeing, seeing real momentum in favor of this powerful framework. States, particularly seen uh, in Europe, are discussing or even passing laws on due diligence and supply chains. Some companies are engaging, engaging in honest discussions with NGOs and communities. And those harmed see more paths to denounce and hopefully have some remedy. That what I found uh, most powerful about Professor Robbie's guiding principles is its focus on protection and prevention, that is in avoiding harm to people in the very first place. This approach is even more necessary in countries in the global south. Sometimes the harm generated, generated to communities is simply too big for a proper remedy, and the procedure to ask for remedy involves trials, time, and access to different resources. This approach has been successful for communities in some cases. For example, Prodes has been supporting the community of Unión Hidalgo in southern Mexico to defend their land, territory, and natural resources from a French electricity company that wants to illegally build a wind farm in their territory. The wind farm has not been built yet, but it will have enormous negative consequences if constructed. The community has now taken their case to French courts using the French corporate duty of vigilance law that actually allows the request of preventative measures. With this in mind, the community has requested that the project is stopped while the case is being heard in France. This will actually protect the community while the case is being heard. Having this possibility sounded impossible a few years ago. However, Professor Robbie's influence on the issue of business and human rights made that possible. His work has posi posi positively contributed to reduce the unequal power dynamics that exist between communities and transnational corporations. Now it is up to us to take this framework to continue defending human rights. In a personal note, I have to say that I have the honor to meet a Professor Rogis in one session at the European Parliament in 2014. I was uh, granted with uh, the Martin Ennals Award for Human Rights Defenders. And in this session, I was able to share with Professor, Professor Rogi and others the work that Human Rights Defenders are doing not only in Mexico, but also in other countries in the global south, including countries from Latin America. Everybody looked um, not very interested in the work that we were doing at that time. And the only one who was really paying attention about my reflection was Professor, Professor Rogis. In the end of the session, I had the honor to be a proud approach uh, from Professor Rogi, and he was congratulating me, but also congratulating himself about what he called the new generation of 
people fighting for equality and social justice against the power of corporations. That for me was uh, a huge compliment and it shows the quality of human being of Professor Rogis for young people doing this kind of work. So here we are and all our recognition and all the good things that he was able to build for us. We have now the responsibility to fulfill this space with honor and with grace. Thank you, Professor Rogis. Rogis.